And as Small Business Saturday comes to a close, it's important to remember and to celebrate all small businesses, regardless of how small or young their business owners may be. Cakes, Cakes Abby Ray spoke with a nine-year-old who tells us how she got her start making dough and selling homemade goods. Not all nine-year-olds have multiple years of business experience. They have chocolate chips inside and powdered sugar on top. But this one does. Daisy Wisby started selling her donuts and other sweet treats at just six years old, all because she wanted to go to church camp. We were not in a financial position at the point. Uh, we could afford a little over half of it. We told her if she could help raise a little bit of money that uh, we would try to make that happen for her. And now, three years later, Daisy is basically a professional baker and entrepreneur who sets up half a dozen times a year at various markets in the area. She makes every single treat by hand and with love. It can be nervous just talking to people you don't really know, but um, lots of the people are really nice and kind-hearted. Um, and I get to build relationships. For Small Business Saturday, her sweets business was featured at a pop-up at Wildflower Mercantile. It's a new business space on Douglas that opened at the beginning of November and features more than 30 small businesses inside. You can even find Daisy's mother's self-care business, Ablution, here. Daisy's goal was to make $50 to save for her future, and it was a big success. Her parents are proud that their fourth grader is learning important life skills like communication. Yes, that'll be $6. Would you like a bag? And math and science, all while selling baked goods and bracelets. But that's not all they feel. Gratitude for this community, uh, for people who will come out and support a child um, just wanting to try to build up her dream. It's just really, really encouraging. Daisy loves sharing her favorite foods with the community. Her advice for running a successful business that will be alive and well for many years to come? To definitely not cook lots of brownies at a time because then they will all burn. In Delano, Abby Ray, Kick News on your side.